Chapter 3, Setting Up Our Customers and Suppliers. So the first thing is click on your card file, card list, and we'll go to our customer tab. Now we don't have any customers set up yet, you can see it's blank, so we'll hit new. And we're going to set up an individual, so we'll change the designation there to individual. And we'll put in, uh, we're going to set up Megan Jones, so we'll put in her surname, Megan and card ID now we can use that if we had like a reference code like MJ01 or, or something like that we'll put in the uh, address for the client 33 Collie Road Collie and postcode now I won't put in phone numbers I will put in an email though Megan at hotmail.com because uh, we'll be emailing her her tax invoices. We'll then click on the selling details. Now this particular tab allows us to set up the type of invoice. Now when we use Megan later we're going to be using inventory so we're going to set that to an item. We can also default uh, how we want it delivered and we'll be emailing the invoice to her. The only other item there is the default terms so we'll click on a given number of days and we'll set it for 14 days terms. Uh, the, the rest of those items, we're going to leave those for now. Um, there is one other though, sorry, uh, actions. And we're going to set a um, credit limit for this client. So if we look through, we've got edit credit limit and we'll set uh, say $5,000 credit limit and click OK. So we'll click OK there, we've set up our first customer. Now I'll just go through and I'm going to set up some more along the same lines. So I've just gone through there, I've set up uh, Heather Anderson and defaulted her as an item layout. Sally Wood uh, I've set up as an item layout as well. And just another customer there I've set up called Cash Sales which may be for our, if we had a cash register, our daily takings for example, and I've left that layout as a service layout as you'll see later when we do sales.